everybody. It's Jenny. And this is Alexa. And we're back with another edition of the Library Podcast, Checked Out. Today is a very special episode. Alexa, we have two celebrity guests today. We do. Are you we're very excited. Ex- I'm so excited to have both of them with us. Our first very famous celebrity is just about the coolest 10 year old in Lexington. I hear he's a football star. Uh, and that is Joe. Hey, Joe. Hello. Thanks for joining us today. You're welcome. Do you want to introduce your friend you brought with you? Yep. His name is Jared Polson. That's right. And Jared is your buddy, mentor. right? Yeah. He's your mentor. Mm-hmm. Uh, people listening might know Jared, of course, from the time he spent on the University of Kentucky basketball team. Um, but to Joe, Jared is his mentor and his friend. So why don't you guys tell us a little bit about how mentorship works? Yeah. You want to start it out? Uh, yeah. Cool. Um, so we like to play games and stuff mm-hmm. together. And... What kind of games do you play? Football and basketball. And I heard you're better at football. Yeah. Yeah. Way better. <laughs> What's our streak at now? Six, seven S- catches in a row? Ten? Oh, I think it's ten, yeah. yeah. We, try to get, we try to get better every time, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was six, now it was ten after last yeah. week. Yeah. Um, what else do we do? We go to different places. Yeah. Sometimes. We get to go serve different places. Yeah. Like that one place where we did the art. Yeah. We went to Lord's Legacy. It's uh-huh. a ministry in Nicholasville and got to paint and color with some of the participants there. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So we get to get out into the community a little bit. That's really awesome. Yeah. So what's your favorite thing about hanging out with Jared, Joe? Um, he's really fun and funny. Uh-huh. <laughs> wow. There you I'll go. Take that. <laughs> <laughs> Jared, what's your favorite part about hanging out with Joe? Hmm. I mean, I'm a sports guy too, so <laughs> it it really it's really easy for us to hang out because most of the time we just do something active outside. Yeah. Um, but I also get to get to know more about Joe and his family and what he likes to do and what he doesn't like to do, and we ask each other about school and our work. So yeah, we get to do fun things together and then talk to each other at the same time and learn more about each other. Yeah, that's awesome. And you guys are mentor and mentee through the Amachi program, right? Mm-hmm. Amachi of Central Kentucky. Yeah. If people are interested in learning more about Amachi, you can go to www.lexlf.org. That's the Lexington Leadership Foundation, and Amachi is just one of the programs they offer. Um, and Jared, you know, I've heard a lot of people who are mentors say, you know, that they they sign up for it because they want to give something back to mm-hmm. a child, but really they feel like they get more out of it even. Do you yes. feel like that? Hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah. That's honestly Joe's one of the coolest kids I've ever I've ever met. He's very wise beyond his years and he's a lot of fun to hang out with. So we should note too that people can't see this, but Joe is sporting some amazing blue hair right now. <laughs> it's very cool. It's pretty fantastic. It's like a blue like spike in the front. It's really awesome. Oh yeah. It's for the cats, right? Yep. Their tournament run. Yeah. I told him you can't change it until they win the championship. Yeah, now you gotta yeah. keep it. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Now you're locked in. <laughs> you're locked in for at least three weeks. Yep. Yep. He's ready. <laughs> I forgot the question. <laughs> I forgot no, what we were talking I think about. You, I think you answered it great about the what Joe, what you get from him. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. But yes, it is definitely rewarding as a mentor. I feel like the mentee sometimes teaches the mentor more than the mentor can teach the mentee. <laughs> so it's a lot of fun. That's it awesome. really is. So, Joe, what are all, you said you're in fourth grade, what are all the fourth graders reading these days? What's the cool thing, what, is, what are all the cool fourth graders reading? Um, like novels sometimes. Yeah? What kind of novels do you like? I like Dogman and other novels. Like that? Like yeah. Dave, did the Dave Pilkey books? Yeah. Yeah. You There's into Captain that. Underpants, too? Yeah. You like all the Dave Pilkey stuff? Yeah. Those are good. Captain Underpants is pretty awesome. Yeah. Jared, what are you reading these days? Hmm, all the cool twenty-six year olds. <laughs> yeah, uh, that the that's question. the important question. I am. Uh, I like to read a lot of different things. I think I'm in the middle of like fifteen different books. Oh wow! I'm not a finisher. That's I like to I read like the first five, six chapters of each book, and then move on to the next. You're one. like, okay, I get it. I get it. I get the. I feel <laughs> I like the best list. part of every book is yeah. like the first half of it, and then maybe not goes downhill, but they put all their good stuff in the front. But, um. I'm a big C.S. Lewis fan. Mm-hmm. Um, I also work in finances, so I like to read books about finance. Um, read the Bible a lot. Um, yeah. 
So a lot of just different genres and, and a few novels. I'm reading Adventures of Huckleberry Finn right now. I oh, read yeah. that in high school and I was like, I think I really like that book. So I started to reread that. It's so. always fun to go back and read the stuff that you read when you were yes. younger. You get yes. a lot more out of it, it's I think. It's true. Yeah, Very and I true. think that, I think that that's neat to go back and reread stuff that you read in high school. You get yeah, yeah. like you said you get more out of it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you like to read stuff you that go back and read stuff you read when you were little, Joe? Mm-hmm. Like what like what kinds of stuff? Like music books mm-hmm. that oh, yeah? I used to have. It's like ones that play music? Yeah. Yeah, those are pretty fun. <laughs> My my son loves those. My daughter likes the ones that make dinosaur noises. Oh. She's really into dinosaur noises these days. Mm-hmm. But she's one, so, you know. <laughs> More into the noises, not so much the reading. Right, mm-hmm. right. More about the noises yeah. and then trying to, to mimic them. That's she's, fair. She's something. <laughs> so, and Jared, you wrote a book, right? Yes. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, not many people can probably say that. <laughs> I forgot about that book I wrote. Yeah. I can't imagine being like fresh out of college and writing a book but she wrote about growing up in Kentucky and playing basketball right and yes. your experiences and, and you would tell people a little bit about it yeah um, so I wrote a book actually with the help of my older brother who is a much better writer than I am um, his dream is, was always to write a book and he was like you have a kind of a cool story just growing up in Kentucky mm-hmm. wanting to be a basketball player and all that good stuff so we wrote about that and the experiences of that and so we kind of wrote it together so it's a fun time for that but yeah, it's called Living Beyond the Dream. That's awesome. It was pretty fun. So it is March. It is basketball season. This is mm-hmm. our March Madness podcast. And I have a I have a burning UK basketball question for you. I've always wanted to know. Yes. What are Mrs. Cal's brownies like? Are they like are they They're as everything good? you read? They're as can good you describe as you... them? Can you describe them? Take us on a journey. Us? Very yes. moist, which uh-huh. is good for uh-huh. a brownie. Uh-huh. Um, very chocolatey, which uh-huh. is also very good for a brownie. Does she put anything in it? Like is there a filling? Is it just the chocolate? It's just the brownies. It's just the brownie, but I don't know what her special <laughs> recipe is, but every birthday she has them ready to go. It's that's it's no joke. I've always wondered. Yes. <laughs> That's my that's my my one burning UK basketball question is how do those brownies mm. stack up? If you like sneak into the locker room one day, maybe on a player's birthday, you I might feel be like able I to... would get caught. <laughs> I feel like I feel maybe. like there's like yeah, you maybe might not like... look like a UK basketball player. <laughs> <laughs> I might not be able to pass for maybe anyone on the athletic staff. <laughs> even yeah, not not gonna. Pull you never off. know. You never know. <laughs> General sort of librarian air about it's both right. of us. That's I think. right. Yeah. That's right. That's true. That's true. <laughs> and so growing up, you know, you grew up in you played for West. Jasmine, you grew up in mm-hmm. Nicholsville. Um, if you think back to when you were nine or ten, yeah. like Joe, what advice would you give yourself? Because could you see yourself at ten? Did you think that you would get to to go to college and play college ball? Honestly, I don't even think I was thinking about college when I was Joe's age, which you should think about college. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I never thought that was a possibility. I, it was always my dream since I was five years old to be a Kentucky basketball player, but usually. It, it's not a very good chance that that, that happens. So um, it was always a dream of mine. I never really thought about it. But as far as advice I would give to me back in fourth grade, work hard at the stuff you really like to do. For me, it was basketball. For Joe, it's football. You like basketball yeah. too. But yeah. be active, work hard at things that you like to do. Work hard in school as well, yeah. especially spelling, even things yeah. that you don't necessarily like to do. But <laughs> Um, I'm a terrible speller too, Joe. Just to let you in on a little secret. <laughs> He's getting better though. That's good. Yeah, but yeah, that's that would be my advice. Do you get a chance to help him with his homework sometimes? We haven't yet. No. But I think we might. We might soon. Yeah. We'll What's your get... favorite subject in school, Joe? Um, science now. Cool. Mm-hmm. I used to like math in third grade, but, uh-huh. but now we got. Big math sheets. Yeah. <laughs> not math, not as good. <laughs> math only gets harder. I have to break it to you. It's true. only going to get that harder. True. I feel like science gets more fun, though. Science yeah. does get more fun. You get to, like, set things on fire and Yay. cut stuff up. He's always got a science story. Every time we hang out, there's something new in science that yep. they're doing, and it sounds really cool. What have you done recently that you really liked? Um, Like, the sand stuff that we like, we build little stuff out of it, and then, like, we pour water on it, and it... Like erodes the like oh, castle okay. and stuff, whatever we made. Erosion Neat. lessons. Yeah. Ooh. I forgot about all that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Geography. He teaches no, me a lot about science. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Something not like that. I mean, anytime you get to play with sand and water in school, I feel like that's a win. I oh, agree. Yeah. That's a fun time. I agree. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> so what are your plans for summer, Joe? You got, anything, um, you got any exciting stuff planned? Anything you and Jared are going to do when the weather gets warmer? Uh. Mm-hmm. 
Mm, maybe go to the pool. Yeah. Yeah. And pass football, mm-hmm. basketball. <laughs> Got to do that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> That's a no-brainer. Might yeah. go hiking yeah. somewhere. Yeah. That'd be fun. How, about, how much time do you guys spend together each week? Uh, about an hour. An hour or two. Yeah. Depends on the day. Yeah. So if people wanted to get involved in mentoring, this is a very doable thing to do. It's not, it doesn't take up, you know, large chunks of your day, but it's something, it's a, just a chance to really make a difference in, in a couple yes. hours a week. It's so flexible. I mean, we, we try to hang out on Tuesdays or Wednesdays, but sometimes it's Saturdays. Sometimes we do a, a service activity, so that's different. So it's very flexible. It's just whenever we can hang out for an hour or two, um, and it's the best part of my week, so <laughs> it's a win-win. That's awesome. And that's really great that you guys are, are you're teaching him already how to give back and giving back. That's really important mm-hmm. in that. It's going to make you feel good, Joe. And then someday when you're older and big and important and a football star slash scientist, mm-hmm. you Thank can you. then turn around and give back as well. Yeah. It's yeah. pretty awesome. We thank you guys so much for coming in today and talking to us. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you want to tell us or talk about? Uh, I don't know. You did good. Anything else about hanging out with Jared and, and mentorship or mm. books that you like or movies that you've seen that you think are really cool? Mm. We always like recommendations. Yes. Mm. <laughs> um, I like to watch funny movies sometimes. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, I do too. Nice. And Sky Zone. We forgot to mention Sky oh, Zone. Oh, yeah. We, we to went there. to Sky Zone and we went to some other, some restaurants together. Oh, yeah. And... Kids eat free at O'Charlie's. Hey. Nice. <laughs> That's our spot. And Joe loves our Charlie's. You yeah. get the mashed potatoes and the fries. Yeah. Right? And the Sprite. Yeah. Yep. Nice. It's my kind of kid. That's a lot of potatoes. Carbo load. Carbo load. <laughs> <It's> carbo load. <laughs> get ready for the football. <laughs> yeah, I'm done with that. But Joe, who's your pick to win it all? Who's at the top of your bracket? Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> with no prodding. No so prodding. <laughs> None. I mean, his hair is blue. What do you, what do you expect? That's right. It can't be Duke blue. Yeah, it's not no. Duke. Duke's not gonna win. I mean, we're in Lexington, we're in so Lexington. I feel like that's pretty much the answer yes. that you're gonna get. Yes. <laughs> For sure. Awesome. Well, cheer on those Wildcats. Don't change your hair. Okay. And uh, <laughs> hopefully they'll go far in this tournament. They got a tough round. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're tough guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you guys so much for coming in. If people want more information on how to be a mentor through the Amachi program, again, that's www.lexlf.org. That's Amachi of Central Kentucky. And then if you're also interested in helping out with the library's uh, homework help program, that's www.lexpublib.org slash volunteer. The library has homework help uh, Monday through Thursdays from 4 to 7 at the Village Branch and the Northside Branch. We can always use volunteers, so if you think mentoring is not something that you have the time to commit to right now. Um, we would love to have you for homework help to help kids. And I promise you, it's it's no, it's nothing like um, like middle school math or anything awful like that. It's a, <laughs> it's a we'll, we'll match you up with a with a kid who's at your your skill level because I don't right. I don't do the math stuff with them. I, I do the spelling and the language arts and the history and the, I leave the math and the science to the the math and the science folks. Right. So and it's non-binding. You can come as much or as little as you want to. Absolutely. Help. Anytime Absolutely. you come, it's appreciated. Absolutely. So for more information on that, go to our website, uh, check out Amachi of Central Kentucky. And thanks, Jared. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for having us. You're welcome. (laughs) Thanks, guys. (laughs)